Alright, so we have part two of one point perspective. We are going to draw eight boxes in one point linear perspective. For the supplies you're going to need, you're going to need your sketchbook for reference, that sketchbook page that you just created that shows you how to do it with all your definitions. You're going to need your ruler or your straight edge. It could be the same one you were using. It could be a different one. It doesn't make a difference. Your pencil and definitely an eraser. You're also going to need a 9 by 12 white sheet of drawing paper that you can get up in the front just like all the other supplies. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take that 9 by 12 sheet of paper and you're going to do the same thing you always do when you get your paper for the very first time. You're going to write your name. Escribe tu nombre. So you're going to flip that it away. Way. This is the side you're going to be doing everything on. Now, because we're going to do eight boxes, we're going to put in a vanishing point in the center. To find the center, it's going to be very simple. You're going to take your paper, you're going to fold it in half. I know, I usually tell you not to fold your paper. Today we're folding our paper. You're going to take it again, fold it again. You should land up when you open it, four sections. One, two, three, four. Okay? But here, we have a center. This is your vanishing point. It doesn't matter how big you draw it. It doesn't matter how small you draw it. It's there. You just have to know it's there. Now we're going to do eight boxes. We're going to draw one in the middle, one in the upper right-hand corner, one in the upper left hand corner. We're going to draw one on the center line on both right and left. We're going to draw one in the center of the bottom, one in the lower right hand corner, and you're going to draw one in the lower left hand corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very simple. And you are going to draw the box. So I'm going to do the upper right hand corner. The size of your box or square could be any size that you want it to be. I'm just going to draw a one and a half by one and a half inch. If you want to measure, you can. You don't have to. As long as it is a square or a rectangle. Geometric shapes work the best for one point perspective or any type of linear perspective. So here I have my square. Now I have to draw my converging lines. So I draw them to meet up with my vanishing point. Then I have to draw my parallel lines. Line it up. Bring it over as far as you want. Line it up. Bring it down. Ta-da! And then you can go ahead and you can erase your lines. Now, you want to erase your lines so you don't see them. I'm using, you see that's kind of hard to see, it's a 4B. It means it's a very, very soft pencil, very, very soft graphite, so it's easier to get a darker line. I'm doing that so you can see it a little bit better. So you don't want to see the eraser marks at all. That I'm going to take points off for. But my pencil's different than yours, so you're going to see it. Now, again, draw one in the center. It could be any size you want. Boom. 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 Again, it's the two corners, two or three corners that are closest to the vanishing point. Because this one's right above the vanishing point, you only have the two. And draw a parallel line. Bam. And it's done. Now I want you to continue this for all eight boxes so that in the end, you have eight boxes on your piece of paper. So in the end, your paper should look like this. Now granted, I was using a darker pencil, so you can see my lines, but I don't want to see your lines. You can leave the vanishing point there, that's fine, 
I don't want to see your converging lines once you erase them. And that is it. Once you are done, please hand this in to Miss Paul. Any questions, please come and see her.